I'm pulling it down to the main reason is pro the way we are programmed from when we're as little as five to three years old. We we be, as soon as we're born, we begin pro to be programmed by our parents and then what we see around us. So probably to, from the age of from when we're born to the age of we're allowed to play outside, we've only got the influence of our parents. Once we start going outside, then we've got the influence of the world and everything else around us. Now for us, like. It's the, these, like, okay, for one, we're taught from when we're young, we're taught we come from slaves. So if we're taught we come from slaves, we can never be anything but slaves. For two, everything we see, like, any images we see of ourselves is a negative image. And not just that it's a negative image and these images are made to look negative, these negative images are made to look good. It's, 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 it's crazy, it's like what we were talking about yesterday, like, the kids in school, the really bright kids, they're the, one, they're the ones that people will call an idiot and they will get teased and be made fun of. They're the ones that are going to get bullied. They're the ones that none of the girls are going to like or the girl, no, none of the girls are into him because this guy's brainy. He sits down and he does his work. Now, it's like we, everything that's bad, we see it as good. And so, so I can't, this is, so how we're only going to be that way inclined because we actually see these things as good. We, the words, even the words that we use when we, when we say, when we refer to something as good, we refer to it as sick or, you know, and, and, it's, and so it's, all these things are really important. Like the words that we use are really important and it's always the opposite of what it really is. So all these, and, and all these things, they, what's the word? They, they make an impact on our subconscious, on our mentality and this is how, this is how we grow. This is how we're programmed then for our lives. So by the time we get to 11, all these things that you're hearing and you see in a documentary, this, that's just normal. It's not bad. The, most of them are good. So when I was 17 and we were shooting up the place and, and whatever, that was good. That was seen as good. I was a man because of that. So how would we expect it to be any other way? <laughs> so how do you change that? What do you want people to do? What do you want young kids? To, to be fair, okay, I think there's, there's a lot we don't know. So I want the kids to gain knowledge not i'm not even i don't i'm not even talking about school i'm talking about educating yourself like right now we're living in the age of information i've said this a few times as well we're living in the age of information we're not living in the iron age we're not living in the industrial age no more we're living in the age of information so it's the it's the guys that are growing up and the ones that have got the most knowledge and can use that knowledge and that, and they can use that knowledge they're the ones that are going to be progressing in life. They're the ones that are going to be at the head of the game. They're the ones that are going to be at the top of the food chain. So it's for the kids to start learning knowledge. That's, this, is, this, is what we gotta, like, this is what we've got to be pushing, taking the knowledge. Whatever knowledge, taking the knowledge. Like We sit down in the offices and we, we have debates all day now. We, we enjoy having debates. Like we, We'll sit down and we'll talk, have a discussion and, we, and, it's a, and it's a meaningful subject rather than people just sitting down talking about oh, he's gone jail, my man's this, he's doing this and he's doing that. Like when I hear them conversations now, I just go away. I, I start to move off because it's not, in, it's not interesting me no more. It's not making people use their brains. Use your brains, use your brains, use your mind, exercise your mind, take in the knowledge, you know, because when you start doing them things, then you ain't gonna wanna live a certain way. There's no way you can. When you become aware of certain things, you ain't, you cannot, there's, I don't believe you can live a, that kind of lifestyle. I mean, I heard you, one of you, I think it was you talking about kind of harnessing the kind of enterprise, the entrepreneurial spirit, which you have if you're a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. You know, use it for something. I mean, just talk us through that, that there are kind of skills that translate to a better life if you want to head well, them in a different direction. Well, I kind of, it's, I kind of think all them, like all the things that we do illegally anyway, like people are running businesses and they're illegal. It's just about transferring them skills. Like there's things that, Government do then, that work in the same way that man do on the road, but they're just doing it on a different scale, you know, where totally different scale where the man on the road will be robbing houses and running into shops and this and that, and governments are running into countries <laughs> and robbing countries. So it's just about using what we've got now, that same push, the same push that we've got to do Something, something else, positive, just like me now. Everything I do, I go 
in 100%. When I was making when I was making music and I was motivated to make music, I was going in 100%. When I was on the road doing this gang banging thing, I was going in 100%. That was it. I'm and now I'm doing this. It's the same thing. 100%. I I I, I sleep it. I I live it. I and mean, what is your aim in it? This <clears throat> now. What do you want? I want to okay, I want to build proper communities in it. I want to build proper obviously we say building villages. But we want to build proper communities where we are self-sustainable, we're organised, where loads, all these little things that happen can't happen. There's one order in our community. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, there's progress. Just posit I just want to be in a positive environment. I refuse to be in anything else. But so what does that mean in terms of, you know, you want, you want kids growing up, black kids growing up? Not just starting. black kids. All kids. All kids. Yeah. Everyone that's face everyone that's facing these same dilemmas. You know, everyone that's in our environment, in our community. We need to like there's 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 a lot of things we're we we're, we're clueless to. We're walking around like zombies basically. N not aware of what's going on in the real world. We're living in a, a little bubble of our own and it's and it's it's depressing. <laughs> it keeps everyone there. Like but what do you, I mean, you're talking in sort of general terms, but okay. what do you specifically make? Specifically? I mean, what, yeah, like as in, you want people running businesses, you want people... Okay, yeah, what so... Kind of what do you want to Okay, happen? so, like, for the future, for the future, even the kids that we're working with now, we're telling them to get skilled up. We want them to build their skill base, so by the time they're out of school, people can start setting up their own little businesses and want to, and their own little enterprises, and also people to educate themselves or get into college, higher education, so they can take on higher position jobs, because that's what we need. We need people, people in positions of power. So it's, it's, it's not so easy to make decisions without, without us, you know? So we, I want to get to a stage where, for people to make decisions about us, they've got to actually come and say, oh, what do you think we should do? Rather than, oh, we're doing that, and it's just like that, because I, I just feel like we're being walked all over.